How big was the Maui trip for you guys as far as coming together as a team? And what did you really find about you guys? Well, found out how much work we have to do. Yeah. You know, we uh, not very sharp in any one area. So, uh, and, our, and our guys know that. Uh, they're disappointed in the way we're starting. You know, they know we've got a lot of work to do. I know we've got a lot of work to do. And, uh, we've had a couple of decent practices since we've been back. So. Hopefully we can uh, make some progress. It's a roster or plan of change. Do you anticipate that staying or? Oh, I have no idea. We we'll be moving guys around, uh, you know, into January. So uh, Dylan coming back, you know, just a lot of ebb and flow right now. I'm not sure where we're going. Playing in a tournament like that, what kind of a teaching experience is that to play three quality opponents and then come back and have a good uh, homestand here? Well. You know, you hope you guys understand that uh, there's some ups and downs early season. Uh, we've got some new guys that we've got to get on the floor a little bit more. Bell's got to help us a little bit more. So Keith, you know, so we've got some guys that, you know, we've got to get on the floor. So hopefully, you know, we'll be able to get them some minutes here and, and uh, get some things ironed out for our rotation. You know, as we get through the month of December, I think it's important that, uh, be a lot of things in place that we don't have in place right now. In terms of reincorporating Dylan, is the chemistry back where you'd like to see it in terms of the number of practice minutes he's gotten and, and, and the game minutes he's gotten? Oh, it's, it's going to take some more time. Okay. You know, I mean, he uh, has practiced now a couple weeks, you know, but a lot of it was dry and, and uh, we're incorporating more and more into live action. Uh, he didn't practice as, as much as the other guys the last two days. and. and uh, so, you know, he's, he's still a ways away from being, you know, 100%, but uh, we'll do exactly what the doctors tell us to do and, and gradually build him back into it. So he's still on minute restriction then? Yeah, yeah. No, he, uh, he will be for a while yet. Any update on Michael Page at all? Um, no, uh, he uh, didn't make the trip with us. Uh, he had a concussion and, and was out for a couple of weeks, so he got behind in his classes because he couldn't go to class uh, either. So he, he, he made up some time there, and uh, we'll just see how he progresses. A lot okay. of turnover for the Boise roster. How different a matchup is this going to be than last year? You know, not, not a lot. You know, they've got two starters back that are very productive. Uh, Duncan, who, who played a lot against us last year, uh, running the show, and they want to keep him on the floor as much as possible. So, uh, no, I, I think they'll be a tough matchup for us. Uh, they got us last year and uh, you know they're kind of like us a little bit. They haven't hit a lot of threes, you know, and, and so that can change the ball game in a hurry. It did for us. You know, we, we finally hit a few threes against UConn and, and it made a big difference. Dylan's had a difficult time of starting the season shooting the ball. Is he a different player in practice? Does he is... No, he's, he's He's had a little trouble getting the rust off, and uh, you know he's, he's got to take better shots. He's got to be more selective. Um, but you know, I think as the season progresses, he'll he'll do a better job. But no, I mean, uh, not many guys that are different in practice than they are in the game. You know, what you, what you see in the games usually nine times out of ten what, what we're getting in practice. You spoke in the preseason that some of your messaging wasn't necessarily getting through to guys after. A couple of defeats, or are, are, are the guys generally a little more receptive to the, the things you're trying to impart? Oh, I don't know. I, you know, that's we'll see. Yeah. You know, I, you know, I, I don't make any predictions there. You know, it's uh, any relationship is give and take, and, and uh, you know, that's what coaching is. You, you, know, you try to make sure that what you believe is really important, you know, gets through, and you know, hopefully, sometimes it does. And you know, uh, for those of you who have children. You know, you just you keep harping on them, and, and hopefully it gets through. And uh, sometimes they listen, sometimes they don't. Just six games in about 12 days. How much of a premium are these practices right now to, to, to get your improvement? Well, the month of December is going to be really important for us. Uh, we, we need to spend a lot of time on the practice floor. As you mentioned, we had a lot of games in a very short period of time, uh, which is which is okay in the early season, but. You got to get some things worked out, and uh, that has to be done on the practice floor. So, hopefully, this next month we got three games this week. Then after that, we have a week for finals, and uh, we'll be able to squeeze a couple practices in there. And then, you know, uh, with no school, we'll have a little bit more time for working some things out, seeing some things on film. You know, that I think our guys will be able to learn from. How big was Tyler's last game? You know, he kind of came over the shell a little bit. Let the offense come to him more and really produce. 
How big is that for you guys moving forward? Well, he's he's a good scorer, yeah. you know, and, and we need him to score some baskets for us. And uh, uh, the whole team needs to improve the three point percentage. You know, we we uh, won't be able to last very long shooting 30 percent or under 30 percent. So, you know, we've got to take better shots. We've got to get some threes to go down. That's a big part of anybody's offense, but it's a big part of ours also. What do you need to see from Cabell and Keith to, for them to carve out more minutes for oh, the you know, We just need to find some opportunities for them. They're, you know, they both had decent practice yesterday. That helps. You know, that's where it starts. And uh, then we'll just see where the game takes us and, and hopefully uh, we can give them some productive minutes. Any particular facets of their games individually, though, that you feel like they well, need to, they can help you? Or need turnovers to with, with yeah. all of us have you know, really hurt. We've all got to handle the ball. And, uh, but Cavell's a very good rebounder. We need him to do that and uh, defensively be solid. Uh, everybody's worried about the offense. They all go out there and they just want to score a basket. And uh, we got to get that you know, out of all our new guys, our old guys too. Defensively, what do you guys really need to improve on? Because you talk about how this team isn't where you want it to be. Well, defensively, you know, our, our ball screen defense is not where it needs to be. Uh, our communication in the zone and in man is, is, is not very good. You know, and uh, with a, a team that has new parts coming into it, communication is a big part of it. So they know what each other's doing. You know, the guys play together all the time, and they kind of get a feel. But uh, we don't have that scenario. We've got a lot of new guys, Peyton, Dylan Ennis, who didn't play for us last year. We've got a lot of new guys we're trying to work in, uh, and they've got to talk a lot. Coach, is it just repetition for improving on the defensive side and improving communication? Well, that's that's part of it. Uh, you know, I think the more opportunities we get to, to have productive you know, defense, it's effort, it's communication. Um, you know, it's really concentrating, and focusing on getting defensive stops and getting our transition D back and putting it together. Uh, just kind of like offensively, there's no facet of our defense that's just locked in and ready to go. You know, we. Sometimes transition D is great. We're talking, getting back, putting it together. There'll be other times where it's downright embarrassing the way we get back and give up baskets. So, again, a lot of things to work out. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd like to say it's going to come with time, but that's up to those guys. They got to decide, you know, the focus and the attention to detail that it takes to put those things together. You kind of saw it. Um, you touched on it a bit already, but, but what has Peyton kind of done that? that in practice, they've seen that that made you put him into the starting lineup. Oh, just nothing really. I mean, I just, <laughs> just trying some different things. We, you know, like I said, nothing's etched in stone. We just we're going to try a lot of different combinations here. You kind of mentioned it last year um, against Boise State. You know, came down to you know the final seconds. Seconds. Do you feel that that was just kind of one that got away from you guys? Well, they just they beat us. You know, we. Didn't get off to a very good start, got way behind, uh, tried to make a comeback, but it was, it was a little too late, you know. So, uh, you know, they, they're a good team. We're going to have to play well tomorrow. And, uh, you know, we, we played well against a good Velpo team and won that game. We're going to have to play as well uh, tomorrow night to, to, to give Boise. They're talented, they're well coached, and uh, we're going to have to play off the well. All right, all right.